For the surface z equals x squared plus 3y squared, we want to find the gradient at the point Q with coordinates 2, 1, 7 in a direction making an angle alpha with the x-axis. So that means we want to find the directional derivative to get the gradient, that is we want to find m alpha is equal to day z day x cos alpha plus day z day y sine alpha. And in this expression z equals x squared plus 3y squared, day z day x is 2x, so the m alpha becomes 2x cos alpha, day z day y is 6y, so plus 6y sine alpha. And we're given a specific point here, q with coordinates 2, 1, 7. That point has x equals 2, y equals 1. So therefore at this point we get m alpha is 2 times 2, lots of cos alpha, plus 6 times 1 sine alpha, giving us the gradient at that point in a direction making an angle alpha with the x-axis, becoming m alpha equal to 4 cos alpha plus 6 sine alpha. Now staying with the same example, a related question could be to find the maximum gradient at Q and the value of alpha for which it occurs. And to do this we use the expression we just found, the general expression for any angle alpha, and to find the value of alpha that gives the maximum m alpha value, we start by finding the derivative of m alpha with respect to alpha. And that is going to become differentiating this with respect to alpha, negative 4 sine alpha plus 6 cos alpha. And we then solve the derivative of m alpha with respect to alpha equal to 0, as that will then give us values of alpha at which both the maximum and minimum gradient at our point occur. Therefore in this case we're solving negative 4 sine alpha plus 6 cos alpha equal to 0. And for an expression like this it can be easiest to subtract the 6 cos alpha term from both sides here to get negative 4 sine alpha equals negative 6 cos alpha. Then we could divide both sides by cos alpha and also divide both sides by negative 4 to get sine alpha divided by cos alpha equal to negative 6 divided by negative 4. But sine alpha divided by cos alpha, that's just tan alpha and negative 6 divided by negative 4 just gives 3 divided by 2 or 1.5. So we now solve this for alpha. So if we find the inverse tan or arc tan of 3 on 2, that will give us one possible value of alpha. If we work that out, we get a value of 56.31 degrees. But a little bit of care is required here because the tangent function has a period of 180 degrees. So it is also possible that alpha might be equal to 56.31 degrees plus 180 to give us 236.31 degrees. So the question is which one of these actually is a value of alpha for which the maximum gradient occurs. So determine which one of these two values of alpha gives the maximum gradient. We can differentiate dm alpha d alpha again to get the second derivative of the gradient function m alpha with respect to alpha giving us negative 4 cos alpha minus 6 sine alpha. And that is then useful because we can then use the second derivative test because the idea is that with the second derivative test these two angles which gave the first derivative equal to 0 the maximum gradient will occur in this case if that second derivative is giving us a value less than 0. So let's check what happens first of all with alpha equals 56.31 degrees and substituting that into our value of the second derivative will become negative 4 cos 56.31 degrees minus 6 sine 56.31 degrees which gives us a value negative 7.211 and that is less than zero. So because the second derivative is less than zero, 
we can actually conclude the maximum gradient does occur at alpha equals 56.31 degrees. And for an exercise, you might want to verify what would happen if you substitute in 236.31. That one actually gives a positive value for the second derivative. So that is the value of alpha at which the minimum gradient occurs. So we found the value of alpha for which the maximum gradient occurs. And to find the actual value of the maximum gradient, we would simply substitute 56.31 back into our original expression for m alpha, which in this case gives us that the maximum gradient is going to be equal to 4 cos 56.31 degrees plus 6 sine 56.31 degrees, which gives us a value of 7.211.